Hello. Bonjour. Welcome to another vlog. Disneyland Paris. Disneyland Paris. Hello. We are currently outside the terminal at Bristol Airport on what is to be the hottest day of the year. On record. On record. Yeah. So it's going to be warm. It is. It's warm now, but there is a breeze. Yeah, this is quite. This is quite comfortable. I think the temperature is about 30, 31. 30 degrees at the minute, yeah. so that, it's nice, that's okay. But it's going to be 40 degrees in Paris. 40, 40 degrees walking around the theme park. Yeah. But we are going to Avengers Campus. Yes. Pass order previews. It's going to be in this vlog series. We're going to check it all out. Pim's Kitchen, Flight Force, Spider-Man Web Adventures. Slinger. Slinger, whatever it is, we're doing it all. So, we don't need to check in. But we do need to get into departures and get through security. Yeah. So let's go. Made it through security. <laughs> Joe got through fine this time. Yeah, I think it's searched, so I'm happy about that. I think it searched? No. I did. My bag got pulled. Although weirdly, they didn't actually look at anything. So I don't know what was in there that caused it. But hey, we're in duty free. Gate's been called in 20 minutes. So it's not going to be too long. Hopefully, no delays pending, we should be on the flight. Good times. Boarding the plane. That's a different ramp. And it's a weird ramp. Very weird. Yeah. People still boarding. We're finally on air. That wasn't too bad actually. No, it's hot. It's so hot. The boarding bit, there was like no air con. Spell. If you can't find enough room above your allocated seat for your bag, please move towards the centre of the cabin where further space is available. Thank you. There you go. Dude's got his neck fan. Oh yeah, this is a little light to allow other customers to take large, prepare circulated bags and headlockers. I wouldn't go as far as saying circulated. But yeah, just waiting for everybody to get on board and then and get going. So everybody's boarded. No more queues. That's getting a bit toasty in here as well. Joe's got his headphones in.
We've made it, we're here, we're fast. Passport control. Not waiting for any luggage, thankfully. Um, quick toilet stops, we're just waiting for Joe to come out. And then we're good to go to get our transfer. It's pretty dead. I reckon that took us all of what? Less than five minutes. Um, if you are collecting luggage, then this is where you collect it from. I think when we came here last year, we collected luggage from here. Because we brought a suitcase with us. But yeah basically come down those escalators and that's your exit and these are all your baggage claim right let's go so we've made it to the room we were here Campanile Val de France, Val de France which is next door to like the Magic Circus, Dream Circus Castle Dream thing, Castle. With the Harry Potter, whatever. Um, yeah, we've made it here. Pretty straightforward. Um, nice room, so I will give you a bit of a room tour. The only slight issue was that they've given us a twin room with twin beds. And they don't have any double rooms to change us to tonight. So we've had to compromise and make do. And therefore, we now have two squashed together twin beds to become one. Hey, yeah, I tried. I tried. It's fine. Yeah. So I am literally going to walk to the entrance of the room, and I'll give you a tour of the whole room. So come with. So what's weird, as you can tell from how I'm walking, and it's getting dark. Ooh. Ooh. So as you come in, you literally have this like kind of long corridor. So here's the here's the door as you come in. We're literally the end kind of corner room. You can see on the map, we are here, right there in the corner. So we've got this kind of hallway. Welcome to our boudoir. Uh, little coat hanger. If you've got coats these next couple of days, you're crazy because it's Scorchio. And it brings you straight into your room. So I feel quite... I feel quite a distance away from the corridor, which is nice. Cause yeah. You know, I think because we're at the end of the corridor as well, you won't get that many people walking past the room, so it should be relatively quiet. Yeah, I feel quite spacious. So last time we stayed at the Ibis Valley Europe, which was nice. And we are due to be staying there again, but I felt a little bit cramped. They were quite small. They, they were quite small. Whereas this, that is plenty of room. Yeah, really spacious. So twin beds, which we've made into a double side table. Perfect. Light. One of us is going to hit our head on that. More likely me, because I am this side. Um, you have a little desk area. So you've got a little desk area. 
I've got my laptop with me because I will need to edit some vlogs. So that's all quite cool. You've got a TV. We haven't even switched the TV on yet. No, I know last time when we were in the Ibis, there wasn't any... There was no channels that was were in English. The news, Is there a controller? Yeah. I think there. Oh, the controller's over by me. Oh, ah, okay. That's cool. But yeah, nice little stool. So you've got, if you need to work or anything, do your makeup, whatever you need to do, you've got that. You've got a nice wardrobe. Um, inside you've got plenty of shelving. So there's no like drawer space. No. So it is a chest of drawers, like uh, shelves. It is shelves rather than like drawers. That's, I think it's just hanging. You do have a safe. However, this one doesn't work. You've tried to follow the instructions. That's not safe, is it? That isn't safe. So we might mention it to reception, see if they can do anything about it. But you know, worst things could happen. And then yes, so we have kind of unpacked, so at least that bit's all done. Yeah. I think it's quite a nice room. You've got a nice long mirror, so when you're getting ready, hi. It's all right. Bathroom. Cabin. Hey. Bin. Benny the bin. Where you been? Right, Benny? Where you been? Right, it's a bathroom. Now, Lighting-wise, it does look a bit dingy, but it's not awful. So you've got a nice sink area, nice square sink, Joe's toiletries. You do have a hair dryer, a mirror, nice big mirror, actually. Hi, a casual, you know, hello in the mirror. Little cups, you know, cute. Towel test. Towel toucher. They're not too bad, they're quite thin but they're not awful. Um, so you've got some towels there, you have towels here, and you have a towel down here, which is your shower mat. So you've got your sink, running water, always check, make sure it's not brown, toilet, and then your shower. So, not too bad of a shower. I don't know what that's gonna come out like, but it, it looks relatively, that looks relatively new. Quite clean, no lime scale. That's a good sign. Taps look quite new. Yeah, nice size. Um, now, I did. It's been a long day. I did mention earlier the temperature. So when we arrived, it was 31. 32. 32. It is currently, bear with, Bear with, caller. Well, we could do like some acrobatics along this corridor bit. Is that what it's called? Acrobatics. Gymnastics. Gymnastics. Um, it's currently 27. That's not too bad. However, the time is nine o'clock at night. Tomorrow, it has to reach 39 degrees. And then on Tuesday, it has to reach- 41. Sorry, come again? 41 degrees. 41 degrees. If this vlog goes out, it means we survived. I'm yeah, if you die. see this, we didn't die, we survived it. Yeah. Traumatised, but survived. Bashy burn. How, yeah, but here's one good thing. And we can already feel the difference, is that this room, or the rooms in this establishment, have air con. Perfect. Yeah, the ibis one didn't work. It had it, but it wasn't good. No. And I don't know if that was just the room, but it was not good. So I'm glad we've changed because it is very, very, very hot. Um, and we have a view. So we're on... First floor. First floor. Not ground floor. Not ground floor, first floor. Pretty much right by reception. So here is, if you imagine, I'll go step back. Here you go. So, there we go, there's our window, which opens up lovely. And you can see where we are. This is reception, and that is a burger house. Now, oh look, and we've just seen the buses that take you to and from the parks, that run every 15 minutes and is free. 
people running to catch it, loads of people getting off. But that's a burger house. I mean, Joe like a burger and he's making burgers. They smell so good. I could eat one of those. But yeah, so you have a nice little seating area. That there is another restaurant. It's another hotel blocks. Like I said, that's reception. That's where you get the bus to the parks. And, and, and did I say that's a burger house? Did I, did I actually say to people that there's a burger house there? And we like burgers? Because we should eat there. They, that smells amazing. It does smell good. Burgers. Like, like, like smoked burgers. There you go. So room with a view, that's quite nice. So we are pretty close to, to reception, which is kind of cool. We haven't got too far to walk, unlike Newport Bay. Oh yeah, that was... That was that just... Was, that was a hike. <sighs> just a little bit of a hike, it's nice to sit down. I feel like I've been stood up for 20 hours. Um, so the plan is now, <clears throat> gonna get the bus that we just saw, not that one, but we're gonna get a bus. A bus. To Disneyland Paris, the bus station next to the train station. That's where it drops you off. Yeah. They run every 15 minutes and it's a five minute journey. Perfect. And then we're gonna have a little wander around Disney Village and see if there's somewhere we can grab some food. I really want to eat at Rainforest Cafe. We did say about Rainforest, Fa we well, Rainforest Cafe. Sorry, I'm yawning. But Joe's tired. We haven't, know. sorry, just checking the time. It's nine o'clock, so by the time we get in there, Walt Disney Studios would have closed. Disneyland Park would still be open. We might get a reservation. If we get a reservation, we're going there. So, yeah. I'm bored of this room. Yeah, let's go somewhere. I want to go to Disney. Let's go to Disney, Disney. Let's go. So there we are. One, one, two, three. This is the corridor. It's like it's had a refurb. Yeah, it looks like new. Quite new. Fresh new, fresh new carpet. Freshly painted. Don't know where it's taking me. No, I'm just looking. Oh. I know it's in this way. Yeah. So it's not too far. Not like the new park. No, the new, new park, park was... was about five or six or seven, basically. You just turn up to turn up to turn. Yeah. We were the end room then, though. It's yeah. twice now we've been in the end room. We weren't in the end room in the Ibis. We were quite but close hey. to the elevator with the elevator. We were. You also need to use your room key to get through into the main door, which I think is good. Secure it. Yeah. So you come out here. So to get actually into the room bit, you need your room key, which is good. So this is what we were looking at earlier. The main kind of area. It's very nice. Very pretty. Well kept. Not quite sure where I'm going, but... We need to head that way for reception. Joe's got his flip flops on now, so he's comfier. Yeah. Bit of chipping on the floor, can't be a nice bit of white chipping. Chalky. Bounce Castle, Joe? No. Not, not tonight? Not tonight. What is that? Is that like a horse area? No horses. Yeah, that is our room. That one right there. So, this is the house burger. What do they do? Signature burger, 14 euros. They do a BBC. What do you think that's like a barbecue? Crispy chicken, cheeseburger, fish burger. And then you get chicken nuggets, fish and chips, and french fries. That isn't bad at all. Signature burger. It smells amazing. Good, right. So the bus dropped off here. Oh my god, I just got another smell of it. It's Disney, so it wouldn't surprise me if they did it here as well. Um, this is your main reception check in area. 
they've got like a little cafe in there we'll have a little look in there when we get back um, but yeah this is a little park area for the kids yeah you've got a bar there's a little shop in there oh look a bumper car a little bumper car I'm kind of assuming this is where you get the coaches from because that's where they were oh baggage luggage so you can leave your luggage that would be handy because we've got to check out at 11 and even if you're driving park your car I might try that one time I might try driving it so it's a free luggage room that's good to know yeah kids area keep the kids occupied cat yeah get on the bus for Disney parks and train station so we just gotta wait we've made it on the bus we're just pulling into the magic circus to drop people off and maybe pick people up but hopefully it won't be too long I'm hungry. Jay found a seat for one. Yeah, should we sit down? Oh. Sit down. Sit down, toes. Oh, it's a noisy box. It's quite loud. It is quite loud, but at least we're on our way. This reminds me of more like more Disney World now is getting on the bus. You're getting on the um, Disney bus. Although this isn't a Disney bus. This is a hotel transport. It's a hotel shuttle. It's got Disney print all around the side of it though. It's pretty nice. I just want to get there. We made it. That was a quick bus journey. And we noticed just before it goes down. The balloons changed. They give a bit of a rebrand. It used to be red and white, like the one it used to be in, or is in Florida. But now it's like purple and white with the gold. Joe's doing some research just to check to see whether I was just right. Just making sure. Because he doesn't believe me. No, I do. I just want to make sure. He just wants to make sure that it was red and white before. It was. I know it. I knows. I knows that stuff. But yeah, so we've literally taken a couple of minutes. We're here now, just gonna walk through to security and then straight into Disney Village. Um, but that was a pretty straightforward journey. Picked us up, went to M Magic Circus, Dream Castle, the Avengers Hotel, and the B&B &B Hotel. Picked up, dropped off, and then came straight here. So, and it's free. You're not having to pay for that. So I'm highly impressed so far. I'm quite happy, happy with where we're staying, so, oh, it's, uh, it's not hot and bearable, it's nice, a nice warm, like being on your holidays warm, which technically we are, but it's uh, a little bit different to when we were here in November, oh, yeah. and we had like t-shirts, jumpers, hoodies, like scarves, minus four. minus four degrees, so, right, let's get into Disney Village, we are in, and it is time for... Some world of Disney. Let's go in and see anything you want to buy. Well, I want some 30th merch because I've technically not been able to get any yet. Not in this heat. I'm like, there's nothing new yet, nothing new. Um. It's all the same to me so far. Oh, this is new. Oh no, actually no, I remember saying Joe could eat off of this. What was this? Oh, a puzzle. puzzle. Yeah, five oh, piece well. puzzle. Oh. These look familiar. These look familiar. Except they don't have faces anymore. That one, that one. Yeah, they've got all the other That's one. a new one. A Gira. Oh, we can get a little Bagheera for the pugs. 
Yeah, Peggy, we'll chew the shit. We that figure it is. Remember where we saw it? Are there other ones around here? So you got Bagheera. What's that one? They're from the Aristocats. Aristocats. Oh, oh, tell it Yeah. So we found a gift for the dogs. Already. Already. That's a good result. Again. 30th merch? None. Non existent. There are some, but not the stuff that I'm after. Um, I'm not surprised there hasn't been, there wasn't anything in April, so I wasn't expecting it, but I will keep looking in the different shops to see if, if, maybe, we do find a 30th pin or something that piques my interest. There might be some Avengers stuff actually. I've lost Joe. Shock horror. I've lost Joe. Let me find him and then I'll be back with you. Found some. Avenger Campus merch, Avengers Campus t-shirt, assembled 2022, that's quite good, 20 euros, you've then got like a beach towel, got the Marvel logo on, that is 30 euros, have they got anything around here, oh, that's quite cool. mug a giant mug is it black panther not black panther black widow no. who is it what does that look like what does what look like oh it's hawkeye Ooh. oh i didn't see that it's a bullseye isn't it oh yeah that is a target yeah. the end of an hour tip avengers geek alert alert avengers geek <laughs> so now did stuff so we're currently walking through Disney Village. It's quite busy. It's quite nice to actually see it. It's busy. A bit, it feels a bit livelier. Yeah. So you can see for yourself what the crowds are like. There's the balloon again and the new facelift that it's been given. Disney Store, Planet Hollywood. So here we are, Rainforest Cafe. The question is, do they have any walk-up reservations? Let's go find out. We literally just got straight in. <laughs> Miracle. First time ever. First time ever. It's always been full, busy. So, I do like Rainforest Cafe, but it is one that, this is the only one we've not been to. We've done London, we've done the both in Florida. Yes. Who's your mate? Hello, mate. Now, I have had Herod Mix mixed views on the food here. here but you've got to try it haven't you you've got to make your own opinions exactly try it for yourself and see how you get on where are we going right into the jungle see the parrots Oh, here we go. So you've got a table. Got a gorilla right there. Could say there's another gorilla in front of me. <laughs> so, ooh. so we've got the menu. We've got the menu, we've got the menu. What are we going for? So appetizers. Ooh, mozzarella sticks. Garlic bread, chicken strips, barbecue. Big Oh, onion rings, chicken quesadillas, salad bowls. No, you don't come to Rainforest Cafe to have a salad bowl. Pastas, mm. seafood, fish and chips, salmon and shrimp, beef, pork, and chicken. What is that one? The jungle steak and shrimp. That is a little bit like T Rex. Grilled hanger steak, shrimp. Caribbean coconut fried shrimp, seasonal vegetables, mango barbecue sauce, primal steak, Bollywood chicken and shrimp, Amazon fajitas, chicken Louisiana burger, rainforest burger, the beastly burger, beyond burger, pulled pork burger, 
Hmm, and then dessert, sparkling volcano. So much choice. And then you've got your drinks menus as well. 26 euros for a pitcher of margarita. Does that appeal to you? What's this one? Oh, this one's got images. This is a bit better. Ooh, they look good. So we got, those are the Amazon fajitas. This is the jungle steak and shrimp. That looks quite nice, 35 euros. That does look good. The rasta pasta. I like get a um, The rainbow colada. Sounds suiting for you. Chilling combination of Bacardi, Carta Ori rum, banana, pineapple, nectar, coconut puree, and strawberry syrup. The, yeah, banana in a cocktail. Mm. Not for me. The beastly burger. Look at that, that is a beast. Bollywood chicken and shrimp. And a veggie bowl. Not for me. So much choice. So we've decided what we're having. Joe's going for the fajitas and I'm going for the steak. But Joe's also having a cocktail. Rainbow whatever thingy me jig you said. Rainbow colada. Rainbow colada. And a glass of water. And a glass of water, you know. Yeah, there's the fajitas that Joe's having. We're being good though. We're not ordering starters, appetizers, whatever. We're being good. But we'll see how it, what it's like. Hopefully, it will come out here pretty quick. Food has arrived. So, here's Joe's fajitas. He got his dips, his cheese. You can see it now. He got the combo. Yeah. He got his dips. There's my steak. My veg, my chips, which was meant to be a baked potato, but I asked him to swap it for fries. Three wraps. Oh, he got plenty of wraps. And he got his cocktail. Yeah, my rainbow. Rainbow salad. That's nice. Yeah. Right. I'm going to tuck in, so see you after. So, we've eaten in rainforest. I. It's great. I loved it. You, yours is really nice. Mine wasn't that particularly that great. I wouldn't have paid. Mine came to about 40 euros. My meal itself was 35 euros. But it, was, it wasn't worth it. My steak wasn't. Yeah, I think my fajitas were about 20 quid, maybe 22 quid. Yeah, I didn't think yours was too bad. But yeah, I wouldn't rate mine. Um, but hey, we've done it. We are in a bit of a rush now, so if I seem a little bit panty out of breath, it's because we are power walking, because it's it's literally like 11.15, so we want to get to the bus stop before all the crowds from watching, everybody watching Illuminations um, comes out, so that we're not literally queuing for hours trying to get on a bus. So. That's why. So okay, we'll so if you're staying at the Campanile Magic Circus Dream Castle, you want to get bus stop queue. So it tells you these are all the hotels for the free transfer. And just over here that Joe's being no nosy with is uh, <laughs> a bit of drama. So we're back at the hotel. Just got off the bus. Hi, bus. Hi, bus. <laughs> um, we're going to have a little look around reception because they've got a shop in here as well. So. We haven't actually had a proper look in here, so let's take a look. So they've got a whole little cafe and a bar. You can get some sandwiches and paninis. Oh, they look quite good, actually. That's something I'm like, oh, I quite, oh, slushy. Arcade. Yeah, it's quite cool. Plenty of vending machines. Get drinks, snacks. Snacks. That's quite cool. Do you want ice cream? Hey, pizza. Yeah, so you can get. Oh, it's part of the thing. You can get the same as what's in the burger van. Yeah. Oh, you can get more. You can get hot dog fritters. So they do have a shop where you can buy some merch. It's not open yet, but good to know. You've got the arcades. I like it. There's quite a lot here to do here. Yes. 
got more of many. Yeah, it's definitely more going on than what there was at the Ibis. Yeah, the Ibis was kind of dead bullet. <laughs> really? Well, yeah, even like when you tried to go and get a drink, there wasn't anywhere to get a drink. I like the sandwiches because I do like a sandwich. I do like a sandwich. The fact that they've got those, that's, um, that's good. I would highly recommend um, staying here. I'm. I mean, I mean, Joe loves a grabber. I do love a grabber. I've really eyed up what's in there. There's nothing. Nothing you want? No. No. Mm. Oh look, Boba Fett. There's Boba Fett in it. I don't know, is it? Is it Boba, Boba Fett? Yeah, it's Boba Fett. It's his helmet, Boba Fett. Is it? Yeah. How sure are you? Uh, you're making me question, but yeah, I'm going to say it is. Yeah, it is Boba Fett. Yes. See, I'm getting to know my, uh, my Star Wars. I was going to say Marvel then. Oh, this is cool. Get yourself some jewellery. Oh, look, little Alpha Four Tower statues. That's quite cool. That was... I'm impressed. That was very good. Yeah. It's, it's got everything you kind of need. Yeah. It's not amazing, it's not like the best, but... But, if compare you, that to... You're getting back from the parks, yeah. and you want a bite to eat, mm. or you want a drink, yeah, it's a bar, there. There's a bar in there. There's a bar, a bar in there. Cool. You can get pizzas, you can get burgers, you can get hot dogs. Sandwiches. All burgers, that's still drinks. there, so... Yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah. Um, it is getting dark now, so you're not really going to see us. But look at all the trees lit up. Yeah, just, like extra yeah, just makes it feel like, oh, this is the burger hut again. You can't see it, but... Right. Before we completely disappear, we'll see you back in the room. So there we are. We're back in the room. Yeah. Oh. That was all right. That was all right. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed my food. You enjoyed your food? I... Uh, I was disappointed, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. That was... That was expensive for what it was. The steak was really tough. I, I always think steak is just a not very good option to go for because it's always the most expensive. Yeah. And there's always a 50-50 chance of is it like fatty and gristly and, it, it and not it, a nice piece of steak? It wasn't fatty, it was just really tough. And it wasn't even like well done. I asked for it medium rare, and it was medium rare, but Which it was a tough, tough piece, piece of, of, of steak. Yeah. And for 35 euros, I kind of like, if I was spending 30 quid back home on a, on a steak really meal, I, it would be, yeah, so, yeah. Eh. Um, but it was all right, it's, you know, it's... My fajitas were lovely. Yeah, you enjoyed, enjoyed them. I had the crunchy veggies, and I had the beef and chicken combo, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then getting back, well, getting there and getting back, it, I thought I think it's been so an absolute far it's breeze. Been a breeze. It's been like, is is any? If, I don't know if anybody's watching who's ever stayed at like one of the Walt Disney World hotels, and you've just walked out of your hotel, you've got on a bus to Magic Kingdom, and it's nice and straightforward. You get on your bus and then you get off. That is pretty, pretty much, much what it's been like. Don't what it's been like. Yeah. Um, really straightforward. Not waiting around long. Managed to sit down both times. You know, it's not. We're not got. We've not got that first thing being in the morning, so we'll no, see we, what that'd be like. But yeah. overall, that's that's easy. And we were just saying, we stayed at Newport Bay, and part of the path which would have been quicker to get to Disney Village was closed off. So we had to walk that all was the way in around. November, wasn't it? November yeah. last year, had to literally walk around past Sequoia Lodge, past New Hotel York. New York, to get into it. And we we're saying actually. The time it took us to walk from Newport Bay to get to the bottom of Disney Village where the security entrance is, that was most probably longer than what it took us to get from here on a bus, pick up at the other hotels and get to Disney. Yeah. So, yeah, that was a breeze. And then you've just seen, I think this is a really nice little complex and I love what they've got here. They've got enough amenities. Yeah. I've seen it's mixed reviews online but of, I, here. Of, of here, but... Aircon working perfectly. We've just walked in and I was like, ooh, it's quite fresh. It's nice and cool. Yeah, so that's good. They've got a bar, you can get food, there's an arcade, there's, there's a, a bouncy castle. There's a bouncy castle, there's a, 
a food kind of hut for our place. The only thing that would be really good, but then again, I don't know whether we get the weather or well, they get the weather. A pool. A pool. Yeah. There's a pool. Yeah. Because I think some of the other so, hotels are uh, The Dream here, Castle has got an indoor pool. I know that. Yeah. I don't know about the other ones. But yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. So I would. I would recommend this place so far. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. If anything changes, we'll obviously tell you. But I quite like it. So, mm-hmm. but there you are. We've made it. We've made it to Disney. We're here tomorrow or What's the next plan? vlog. The plan is we are getting up early. We're gonna set an hour for six thirty-five. I'm in six forty-five. I'm in six fifty-five. Just to make sure I get up at seven o'clock. Just to make sure, and you still won't get up at seven. But we want to kind of get into Disneyland Park for eight thirty because the park's open at nine thirty. We can get in an hour early because of our annual pass. We want to go straight and do Big Thunder because we didn't do Big Thunder the whole time we were here in April. So I really want to get and do Big Thunder, and then Avengers Campus. Can we? Oh, so we are going into Avengers Campus, we're going to walk around, we're going to see it all, we're going to do the rides, um, and then Tuesday we are back in Avengers Campus for another preview, and then we're doing Pim's Kitchen. Yeah. So so you read up earlier, didn't you, about the whole Pim's Kitchen and Avengers Campus thing? Yeah, so technically you're only allowed one preview. But whether it's a technical glitch or they've changed and relaxed the rules, I don't know. But we've been able to book one day just going into Avengers Campus and doing the rides and looking That's around. The and we've then been able to book another preview by booking Avengers Campus and Pim's Kitchen. Yeah, so we're not doing Pim's Kitchen tomorrow. We're not doing, doing Pim's, Pim's Kitchen, Kitchen tomorrow. Tuesday. That'd be Tuesday. So, yeah. And then obviously we've got Illuminations. We've got all the other stuff kind of going on. It's going to be great. So It's going to be jam-packed. You have to watch. You have to subscribe. You have to like. You have to comment. Comment, let us know what you think. We Bring want to grow the channel. Get notifications. All that, all that jazz. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Do it. Um, and if you're still here at the end of this travel day vlog, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're then a true supporter and we love it. Thank you very much. But with that said... Yeah. It's time for bed. It is t- one minute to 12. <sighs> Travel day is officially over. We are here. We hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah. But for now, it's adios for me. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.